Alright, let's unbox the Coolfly S1000S Power Station. Nice packaging, plenty of foam padding which is going to protect the unit in transit. But now let's get this thing out and let's take a closer look. It's a very simple design. It's black in color with a large handle on the top so we can carry that easily. And the front has a nice texture to it. And everything has been labeled so we know what the buttons do and what each one of the outlets are capable of handling. So it's very friendly in terms of its design. On the side we have cooling fans and on the opposite side we have exhaust or intake fans to keep the unit nice and cool. And the back of the unit is pretty plain but it still has that nice ruggedized design. Now on the bottom of the unit there are four little rubberized feet and that's going to keep the unit from sliding around. Now as far as weight this thing weighs about 19 pounds so it's not heavy and because of that large handle is fairly easy to carry around. And as far as dimensions, this unit is 7 inches tall or 9 inches if we include the handle and it's approximately 13 inches in width. And it's also about 7 inches deep, so it's a fairly compact unit. On the front of the unit, we have a locking cigarette lighter outlet plug with a nice little dust cover. Also in the bottom, we have a DC out. Both the top one and the DC out are rated at 12 volts or 10 amps. Then we have a charging input rated at 120. 20 watts. Then we have a USB-C port rated at a maximum of 100 watts. And then we get dual full-size USB rated at 18 watts each. On the right hand side we have two AC outlets and both of them are rated at 1000 watt continuously, 2000 watts peak. Also notice that we have a button that enables the specific outlets. For example, in this case, I turn on the cigarette lighter port. If I click this button, I turn on the USB ports. And if I click the top button, that turns on the AC outlets. So it's kind of convenient that we can just turn on the section that we want to use. The display can show if we are ready to output power and what percentage of battery we have left on the power station. And if the display is too bright, we can always click it off and the power station still functions. We can always turn the display on by clicking this button one more time. And to recharge the power station, they have included this power break rated at 120 watts, which gets connected in the front DC input. As you can see, the display now shows that we are charging and the current battery charge state. And if the display is too bright, we can again turn that off while the unit is still recharging in the background. And in addition to the AC adapter, we can also charge the power station using the included cigarette lighter adapter plug. So you're looking at four potential ways that we can charge this power station. One being the AC adapter that they included. Number two, being able to charge this unit directly off your vehicle of the cigarette lighter port. The third one being able to recharge it using the USB-C port. And the fourth one with an optional solar panel kit that Coolfly also carries, which will allow you basically to get almost free electricity. But let's talk recharging times. Coolfly rates this unit as being able to fully recharge in 10 to 12 hours using the AC input, which is the AC adapter or the solar charging option or 18 to 22 hours if we are using the USB-C power delivery charger. And what's pretty cool is that while the unit is recharging, we can still use the ports in the front. You can see how I just turned this side on and we can turn on the USB ports and we can turn on the AC outlets and they can all be on while the unit is recharging. And here's another interesting feature of this unit. We know we can charge with the DC in, with the AC adapter that they included, or we can charge with the USB-C PD adapter. However, Coolfly says that we can actually plug in both at the same time, the DC in and the USB-C charger to increase the charging speed. Now, I do wish there was an indicator on here that would show the additional power being delivered, but that is still pretty cool that we can dual charge so we can charge this thing a lot faster than by just using a single power supply. And as far as chemistry, this unit is using lithium ion batteries and they have a rating of approximately a thousand cycles. So you can potentially recharge this a thousand times before you start to lose some capacity. And we also get this 
simple instruction manual that shows all the features of the power station. And they also included this graphic right here that shows approximately for how long can we operate something off the power station. For example, if we're running a house light bulb and a house light bulb is an LED light bulb, we can operate that for about 173 hours. However, if we wanted to run a hair dryer that pulls 800 watts, we can operate a hair dryer for about an hour. Not sure why you would want to dry your hair for an hour, but you could do that if you wanted to. Also notice how high we can store this. We can store this as high as 115 degrees and we can operate this unit as high as 104 degrees. But I also want to show you that the unit operates completely silent when recharging USB devices. I have not heard any noise come from it at all and I am fast charging my phone with a USB-C port and I have two devices hooked up to the standard USB ports and we can see that they are on and recharging. However, remember there are some fa fans over here to keep the unit nice and cool and we can actually hear them turn on when I turn on the AC outlet. But that said, they started up almost like they're just testing. And once those things, once the outlet is on, we can see that we are recharging. The fans are not on. So those fans are only going to come on when this unit is under heavy use and we are using a lot of power from it. But for most part, this unit is going to be fairly quiet to operate and certainly way more quiet than a gasoline generator. And I can also run this unit indoors because there are no gases produced like they are in a gasoline power generator. And that was a Coolfly S1000S power station. Now, in case you don't need all that power and you don't need a thousand watts continuously, they also have a smaller version, which is the 600S, which has 600 watts. So I'll put links to both the 1000 watt version and the 600 power version down below, as well as to the solar kit that you could potentially buy if you wanted to completely live off the grid. And if you guys have any other questions regarding the Coolfly power station, please put that in the comments down below. And if you guys found any part of this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. And stay tuned as I have a lot more cool reviews for cool car gadgets coming up. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.